Welcome back folks to another edition of uh, Into the Breach Handyman Tool Reviews and today we're going to be looking at the DeWalt DCM 563 their brushed cordless 18 volt battery operated hedge trimmer. Um, let's get right into it. So this is the model as you see it. This is exactly what you get. I've had this for six months and um, we're not going to be doing a lot of demo today. We're not going to be doing any uh, actual cutting of hedges and, and showing you what uh, it's capable of because we spent, spent 15 minutes cutting a hedge. It doesn't really demonstrate the enormous amount of experience that I've had with this tool. I've had it for six months and I had significant reservations about buying um, a battery operated hedge trimmer. I was not keen on it at all. In fact, unlike the drills or some of the other battery operated stuff, not even specifically from DeWalt, but just in general, they tend to come up short. You know, I really wasn't keen on it. So I took the risk and I decided after looking at multiple reviews and uh, cost benefit options as it relates to going back to a gas or petrol operated one, um, you know, for what it is that I use it for, because as a handyman I do a fair amount of gardening, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm using it day in and day out like professional. Maybe in that case you'd want a really nice uh, Husqvarna or a still or something of that nature. So I use it both domestically and, um, and for my job. And as I said, I've had it for about six months. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, all I can say is I'm just really, really impressed. I have big reservations about buying a battery operated one. Really, really nervous about doing it. And I'm sorry, but it just, it's just awesome. Okay, as you can see from the use, got a bit of, bit of tree stuck in there. So as you can see, the blades on it are quite black. They're quite discolored. That's because I've had it for six months and they were shiny steel when I got them. Absolutely polished to a pristine, you know, mirror finished stainless steel. And I've used it and used it and used it and I just can't get over how well it performs. And not even, not even just its cutting ability because it'll go through about, go through twigs that are about uh, three quarters a centimeter. I think I've gone through things that are as thick as a centimeter. So what is that in? inches for our American counterparts so yeah I mean almost I would say almost up to a half inch I mean um, it's 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 really impressive and I've cut so many different types of shrubbery and hedges with it it's really performed well so basically the configuration is standard it's really really lightweight um, it's got your protective guard here in case you get any uh, your safety guard for any limbs that are coming off there it's got a three trigger operation that is the only thing <clears throat> that I love about it and I hate about it, okay? You need to depress the handle and you need to flip up a very small tab on the trigger area here back on the handle and pull up. So you need to do three things in order for this uh, hedge trimmer to actuate. Um, and uh, I love it about it and I hate it about it. I find it a bit fiddly when, you, when you're operating it, but, it's, but the safety gains, there's no... You can't operate this one-handed. Pulling the trigger with the switch doesn't do anything. You have to actuate the arm here, depress that down, and hold that, and it all has to happen in the right sequence. Um, otherwise, it, it won't operate. Which, you know, as much as I don't like it, it really makes it awesome in terms of safety. You can't, you really can't cut yourself or hurt yourself, because as soon as you let go of one of the two, it stops. Um, where my old Petra one, although it was fantastic, it was really easy to operate that one-handed, not necessarily the safest thing to do by far. Um, on a and one of the other reasons that I just absolutely love this bit of kit is um, the, the battery, the lifetime. I was really, really concerned, not only about the power and its cutting capability, but how long a battery was going to last. And I'm just absolutely so impressed. I mean, it's, and it's really tough. <clears throat> Well-balanced and light. Um, and it's got all the standard configuration, so the, the cutting bar here is, um, is stainless steel, uh, to the best of my knowledge, or at least it's a hard carbon stainless steel, because it, it doesn't rust, it just stains. Um, the casing, same thing you'd expect from DeWalt, a high quality polymer melded with rubble, rub, rubber, sorry, rubber and other composites. Uh, all your corresponding information is on the side, serial number, under 100 decibels, just under 198 decibels operation. It's just fantastic. And it stops instantly. Start stops instantly. So no mix, no fuel, no fiddling around. Go, go, go. Um, so 
In all reality, it is an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I've been wanting to do a review on it for a long time, um, but I wanted to test it first. I really wanted to use it for a long period of time before I got out there and said to people, if you're looking for making the switch and you want a battery-operated hedge trimmer and you're nervous about it, don't be. This thing is a tank. It works really well. It's super light. It's just, you know, you put the battery on and you go. So you can't go wrong. So if you're looking for a battery operated hedge trimmer, so the DeWalt DCM 563. One thing to note, and it's the only other thing I don't like about it, um, although it hasn't let me down once yet, is it's, it's not brushless. This model is brushed. Um, and I'm not 100% sure if the brushes are replaceable. I don't know. A lot of tools advertise that, specifically because you can take them apart, replace the carbon brushes, put it back together, and you're good to go. But anyway, no, if you were interested or thinking about getting um, a battery-operated hedge trimmer, weren't sure what to buy, I can speak honestly and, and sleep well at night recommending the DeWalt DCM 563. I think it's an awesome bit of kit, and I think you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching.